16 banned laws and strange things that only exist in Cameroon. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we'll explore a country located in West Africa, known as Africa in miniature Cameroon. Not only famous for its majestic natural landscapes and diverse culture, Cameroon also surprises many with its extremely unique and peculiar laws and regulations. In this video we'll go through 16 banned laws and interesting things that you may have never heard of. From prohibiting wearing short skirts to regulations on eating soil, let's follow along to learn more about these special regulations and the reasons behind them. Number 16. Ban on wearing short skirts. Short skirts may be a favorite outfit for many people, but if you're in Cameroon, girls won't be allowed to wear those short skirts above the knee. Because this country has an extremely strange law banning women from wearing short skirts. In 2011, Cameroon issued a ban on women wearing short skirts, sparking much controversy at home and abroad. The government explained that this measure aims to maintain traditional culture and protect public morality. However, the ban has faced strong opposition from the people, especially women and human rights organizations. They argue that this ban violates personal freedom and the right to choose clothing freely. Meanwhile, some conservative groups support the ban, believing it's necessary to maintain order and social dignity. Women wearing short skirts are considered provocative and have a negative impact on society. The police in Cameroon say that girls wearing short skirts have led to an increase in sexual assault-related crimes. Moreover, they have a negative influence on young boys during their upbringing, and thus short skirts are banned here. Number 15. Ban on wearing torn underwear. This is perhaps the weirdest ban law I've heard from Cameroon. Can you tell me how to manage each individual's underwear and ensure they're not torn? It's quite hard to answer, but in Cameroon, there's indeed a very strange law banning wearing torn underwear. The government introduced this regulation with the aim of maintaining order and the respectability of society, arguing that wearing torn underwear is disrespectful to oneself and others, as well as contrary to the country's traditional values and morals. According to the government's view, clean and tidy clothes not only show self-respect but also reflect the community's self-esteem. To know who is wearing torn underwear, the police can check people's clothes lines. Any family hanging out torn or overly intricate underwear may be fined. However, this regulation has faced strong opposition from various sides. Many people think this ban is too strict and infringes on personal freedom. For some people, wearing torn underwear may stem from difficult economic circumstances where they can't always afford new clothes. Discriminating against people wearing torn underwear only increases discrimination and doesn't solve the root problem of poverty. What do you think about this law? Comment below and continue with the next strange things. Number 14. Ban on selling alcohol on Sunday. If you go to bars in Cameroon on Sunday, you'll get a huge surprise you can't drink alcohol. It sounds absurd, but bars in Cameroon really can't sell alcohol to you on Sunday. The government says that this decision is made to minimize community health issues and social ills. According to officials, alcohol abuse on weekends, especially on Sunday, has led to many traffic accidents, domestic violence, and other illegal activities. This ban is expected to help reduce these incidents and create a healthier living environment for the people. However, this decision has faced strong opposition from many sides. Bar owners, restaurants, and liquor traders argue that the ban will seriously affect their revenue. For many people, drinking alcohol on weekends is part of their culture and tradition, a time for them to relieve stress after a stressful week of work. Critics of the ban argue that instead of a total ban, the government should focus on enhancing education about the harmful effects of alcohol and tightly control drinking while driving. On the other hand, some social experts support this ban, believing it's a necessary step to protect community health and reduce costs related to healthcare and public security. They believe that gradually people will change their habits and seek healthier entertainment activities on Sunday. We don't know for sure if the ban will really bring about effectiveness or not, but there's a change in this country you won't meet drunken people wandering the streets on Sunday anymore. Number 13. Eating soil. If you think soil is inedible, then come to Cameroon where locals will show you how soil can truly become delicious treats. The habit of eating soil, or geophagy, has a long and rich history in Cameroonian culture. For hundreds of years, Cameroonians have regarded eating soil as part of their tradition and customs. The most common practice of eating soil is found in rural areas and is often performed by pregnant women, 
who believe that soil can provide essential minerals and help alleviate nausea. Additionally, soil is also believed to have a soothing effect on the stomach and aid in balancing the digestive system. The most preferred types of soil are usually red or white in color, containing abundant minerals such as iron and calcium. Cal and clay, a common type of soil consumed in Cameroon, is believed to have the ability to absorb toxins and provide essential nutrients. Eating soil is not only a nutritional habit but also holds deep spiritual and cultural significance. In many communities, eating soil is considered part of rituals and customary practices, demonstrating a profound connection with the Mother Earth and nature. However, this habit also faces many controversies and health concerns. Some studies have shown that eating soil can lead to health issues such as parasitic infections, heavy metal poisoning, and malnutrition if not properly controlled. Despite these concerns, many Cameroonians continue to maintain the habit of eating soil, considering it an indispensable part of daily life. In the modern context, the practice of eating soil in Cameroon still persists and evolves, reflecting a unique blend of ancient traditions and modern life. This demonstrates a multifaceted perspective on culture and how Cameroonians cope with changes and challenges in contemporary society. Number 12. Ban on public kiss. If you and your partner choose Cameroon for exploration together, I have a special note for you don't kiss each other in public places, as this could get you into trouble. In Cameroon, showing affection in public with passionate kisses can land you in trouble. According to the country's laws, public displays of affection are considered illegal and punishable by fines. This ban was introduced in 2010 with the aim of maintaining social order and cultural purity. The Cameroonian government believes that overly affectionate behavior in public places can cause discomfort and affect children. However, this ban has faced many opposing opinions. Many people believe that this is an infringement on personal freedom and not suitable for modern culture. Moreover, enforcing this ban also faces many difficulties. It's challenging to determine the line between intimate and normal kisses. Therefore, the ban on public displays of affection in Cameroon remains a controversial topic. Some support this law for moral reasons, while others see it as a violation of personal freedom. But regardless of your opinion, you should avoid kissing someone in public places while in this country to avoid unnecessary trouble. Number 11. Ban on selling live chickens on Sunday. If you think that you're only prohibited from drinking alcohol on Sunday in Cameroon, then you're mistaken. Because in this country, there's an even crazier regulation on Sunday, which is the prohibition on selling live chickens. In Cameroon, buying and selling live chickens on Sunday is completely banned. This bizarre law has been in effect for many years, sparking curiosity about the reasons behind it. According to the Cameroonian government, the main purpose of this ban is to protect animals. Transporting and selling live chickens on Sunday often leads to unsanitary conditions and stress for the animals. Furthermore, the prohibition on selling live chickens on Sunday also helps reduce the workload for sellers. Most of the sellers of live chickens in Cameroon are women, and prohibiting sales on Sunday allows them to have time to rest and spend with their families. This ban has received positive feedback from the people of Cameroon. Many believe that it's a humane measure to protect animals and improve living conditions for sellers. However, some express concerns about this ban. They worry that prohibiting the sale of live chickens on Sunday will inconvenience consumers, especially those living in rural areas. Nevertheless, the prohibition on selling live chickens on Sunday is still upheld in Cameroon and has become a unique aspect of the country's culture. Number 10. Bananas are number one. If you don't like bananas, perhaps you should reconsider visiting Cameroon because the culinary scene in Cameroon is always connected to bananas. This place is home to over 200 different banana varieties, providing abundant food sources for the local population and exporting to many countries worldwide. The banana cultivation sector plays a crucial role in Cameroon's economy, creating jobs for millions of people and contributing to the national income. Bananas are not just a common fruit in Cameroon, they are also an essential part of the local culture and cuisine. Cameroonians love eating bananas in various forms. Bananas are consumed fresh, boiled, grilled, or processed into delicious dishes like banana bread, banana smoothies, and banana wine. Bananas are also used in many traditional ceremonies and festivals of the Cameroonian people. The passion for bananas among Cameroonians is expressed through proverbs, folk songs, and traditional dances. 
The banana festival held annually in many localities in Cameroon is evidence of the people's love for this fruit. The festival is an occasion for people to share the joy of harvest, showcase banana products, and enjoy delicious dishes made from bananas. Cameroon is a typical example of the bond between humans and nature. With favorable natural conditions and the passion for bananas among the people, Cameroon promises to continue being a banana paradise on the world map. Number 9. Ban on Homosexuality If you come to Cameroon, you can only choose one of the two genders, either male or female, and it must match your appearance, because if you choose or show that you belong to a different gender, you will face disaster. In Cameroon, homosexuality is illegal and can be punished with imprisonment. Article 347 of the Cameroonian Penal Code stipulates that those who engage in unnatural acts can be sentenced to imprisonment from six months to five years and fined from 20,000 to 200,000 Central African CFA francs, about 40 to 400 USD. The ban on homosexuality in Cameroon is based on the country's moral and cultural foundation. Most Cameroonians follow Christianity or Islam, both of which condemn homosexuality. Additionally, traditional social beliefs in Cameroon also consider homosexuality to be wrong. Many believe that homosexuality goes against family values and morals. The ban on homosexuality in Cameroon has faced criticism from the international community. Human rights organizations argue that this law violates the personal freedom and equality rights of LGBT people. However, the Cameroonian government remains firm in maintaining this ban. They believe it is an internal issue of the country, and they have the right to protect their moral and cultural foundation. The issue of homosexuality in Cameroon is a sensitive and complex one. Understanding the legal and social perspectives on this issue will help you better understand the people and society of Cameroon. Number 8. Prohibition on plastic bags. If you haven't truly realized how much harm plastic bags cause to the environment, then let the people in a poor and developing country like Cameroon explain it to you. It might come as a surprise, but in a less developed country like Cameroon, people have a very good environmental awareness, and the government even issued a ban on plastic bags to protect the environment. The Cameroonian government issued a ban on the use of plastic bags in 2014. This ban applies to all types of plastic bags, including nylon bags, plastic bags, and garbage bags. Violating this ban can lead to severe penalties, including imprisonment and fines. The Cameroonian government has established inspection teams to patrol and deal with violations. The ban on the use of plastic bags has received widespread support from the people of Cameroon. Many believe that this is a necessary measure to protect the environment and human health. The use of plastic bags causes serious harm to the environment. Plastic bags are difficult to decompose, leading to soil and water pollution. Plastic bags can also pose a danger to animals when they swallow or get entangled in them. If you visit this country, don't bring too many plastic items or worse, dispose of them improperly, as you will face immediate consequences. Number 7. Wettest place on earth. When visiting Cameroon, the one thing you cannot go without is an umbrella and waterproof bags, because Cameroon is known as the wettest country in the world, with an average annual rainfall of up to 10,000 mm, 10 times the global average. The record for the highest rainfall ever recorded in Cameroon belongs to Mount Mbalam with 10,950 mm of rainfall in 1996. The main reason Cameroon receives such enormous rainfall is due to its unique geographical location. Located near the equator, Cameroon is heavily influenced by monsoon winds from the Atlantic Ocean, carrying vast amounts of water vapor. Additionally, the hilly terrain of Cameroon also contributes to abundant rainfall. As the monsoon winds blow over the mountain slopes, water vapor is forced to rise and condense into large rain clouds. The enormous rainfall in Cameroon brings many benefits to the country. It provides abundant water sources for agriculture, hydropower, and daily life. However, heavy rainfall also poses some risks. Floods and landslides frequently occur in Cameroon, causing damage to both lives and property. The Cameroonian government is working to minimize the negative impacts of heavy rainfall by building dams, drainage systems, and early flood warning systems. Number 6. Lake with the most fatalities. Located in northwestern Cameroon, Lake Nyos hides a horrifying secret within. On August 21, 1986, a horrifying tragedy occurred at Lake Nyos. 
the massive release of CO2 gas suddenly erupted, claiming the lives of over 1,700 people and 3,500 livestock within a few hours. The eruption occurred due to the accumulation of CO2 beneath the lake bed over many years. This CO2 was suddenly released due to a landslide, forming a dense toxic cloud that moved down into the surrounding valleys. Lake Nyos is a volcanic crater lake formed on an inactive volcano. Due to volcanic activity, CO2 from the Earth's interior is released and dissolved in the lake water. The accumulation of CO2 in Lake Nyos over time created a deadly time bomb. The 1986 eruption served as a warning of the hidden danger of Lake Nyos and other volcanic crater lakes around the world. After the tragedy, scientists have researched and implemented measures to minimize the risk of similar disasters. Siphon pipe systems have been installed to safely release excess CO2 from the lake. Lake Nyos is now a unique tourist destination attracting visitors with its pristine natural beauty and tragic history. However, visitors to Lake Nyos must adhere to strict safety regulations to ensure their safety and that of the community. The Lake Nyos disaster serves as a reminder of the immense yet dangerous power of nature. Humans need to raise environmental awareness and implement effective preventive measures to avoid similar disasters in the future. Number 5. The Land of Poachers When visiting the nature reserves in Cameroon, you may occasionally come across signs of poachers. With its rich biodiversity and vast nature reserves, the country has become a target for many poachers. This nation is home to many rare and endangered species including elephants, rhinos and big cats. However, the wealth of wildlife resources has also turned Cameroon into the land of poachers who exploit lax management and a lack of conservation resources to carry out illegal hunting activities. Poaching not only results in a serious decline in the population of wild animals but also threatens the ecological balance and the livelihoods of local communities. Poaching groups often use modern weapons and fast transportation to hunt and smuggle wild animals. Products such as ivory, rhino horn and bushmeat are illegally traded on the international market at high prices, attracting many poachers. The Cameroonian government has been striving to combat this issue by strengthening laws and implementing stricter protection measures. Nature reserves and national parks are being more closely managed and community education programs are being implemented to raise awareness about the importance of wildlife conservation. However, the fight against poaching still faces many challenges and requires international cooperation along with strong commitment from both the government and local communities. Number 4. Paradise of Hot Springs Perhaps Cameroon's excessive humidity isn't appealing to everyone, but if you enjoy the relaxation of natural hot springs, then Cameroon is truly a paradise. Alongside its heavy rainfall, Cameroon boasts numerous springs, especially hot springs. Hidden amidst the majestic mountains and lush forests of Cameroon are countless natural hot springs, offering travelers unique experiences and relaxation. Dubbed as a paradise of hot springs, Cameroon boasts over 1,000 streams of hot springs with abundant mineral water, offering many health and beauty benefits. Many hot springs in Cameroon are renowned for their high temperatures and rich minerals, believed to have healing properties for skin, joint and respiratory conditions. Travelers to Cameroon can enjoy wonderful moments of relaxation in warm mineral waters, immersing themselves in pristine nature and experiencing the peace of the mountains and forests. For example, Enkambi Hot Springs, located in northwestern Cameroon, is a famous hot spring resort with a large mineral pool and many upscale spa services. Or you can visit the Maninguba Hot Springs, situated on the majestic slopes of Mount Maninguba, surrounded by beautiful natural scenery and an ideal place for relaxation and sightseeing. Or head to the Baku Hot Springs, famous for its high sulfur content mineral water, believed to have healing properties for skin and joint ailments. In addition to health benefits, hot springs in Cameroon are also unique cultural destinations where travelers can learn about local customs and history. With the diversity and richness of its hot springs, Cameroon promises unforgettable experiences for travelers and contributes to the development of the country's tourism industry. Number 3. Home to 230 languages. Communication in Cameroon may be one of the biggest challenges when you visit this place. Just imagine trying to understand what the locals are saying when they speak in 250 different languages. You didn't miss here, this country indeed has 250 different languages in use. For a long time, Cameroon has been known as the language crossroads with extraordinary linguistic diversity. 
This linguistic diversity stems from the country's long history and unique geographical location. Located in the heart of Africa, Cameroon is a melting pot of various cultures and ethnicities, each bringing its own language. However, the two official languages of Cameroon are French and English, used in education, politics and business communication. The linguistic diversity in Cameroon brings many benefits to the country. It helps preserve the cultural identity of various ethnic groups, promotes tourism and facilitates cultural exchange among communities. Nevertheless, linguistic diversity also poses some challenges. Communication between groups speaking different languages can be difficult, leading to barriers in education, economy and politics. The Cameroonian government is striving to promote national unity by encouraging the use of French and English in critical fields. However, preserving and promoting the cultural heritage of minority ethnic groups is also an important goal. The linguistic diversity in Cameroon is a precious heritage that needs to be preserved and promoted. It is a testament to the richness and uniqueness of African culture, as well as an important resource for the country's sustainable development. Number 2. Mini Africa. Many people who have been to Cameroon joke that you don't need to visit many countries, just come to Cameroon and it's like you visited the entire Africa. Although this statement isn't entirely true, Cameroon has long been called Mini Africa. It earns the nickname Mini Africa because of its diversity in geography, climate, culture and ecosystems. Here you can find all the typical features of the African continent, offering travelers a rich and impressive tourism experience. In terms of geography, Cameroon boasts majestic mountain ranges, dense plateaus, vast savanna grasslands, picturesque coastlines and lush tropical forests. The most famous include the towering Mount Cameroon, the highest peak in West Africa, and the mysterious Lake Nyos with its massive CO2 gas emissions. Cameroon's climate is also extremely diverse, ranging from temperate in the highlands to hot and humid on the coast, providing conditions for the development of various rare plants and animals. Travelers can explore the Ebio tropical rainforest with its rich ecosystem or the Waza National Park, home to many wild animals such as elephants, rhinos and lions. Cameroon is also a melting pot of various indigenous cultures with over 250 different language groups. Travelers can immerse themselves in lively traditional festivals, explore ancient villages or enjoy unique African cuisine. With its diversity and uniqueness, Cameroon truly deserves the title of Mini Africa. Here, travelers can experience the essence of the African continent, from its majestic natural landscapes to its distinctive indigenous cultures. However, being called Mini Africa also comes with risks such as diseases, security and politics. Therefore, visitors need to carefully research and prepare before coming here to ensure their safety. I hope through this video you've gained a deeper insight into this colorful and diverse country. Every country has its own customs, traditions and regulations, reflecting the culture and way of life of its people. Number 1. Ban of criticizing their football. Your country's football team might play very well, but when it comes to Cameroon, never tell the locals that their team is inferior to any team in the world, because somehow they believe their football team is number one in the world. Football is not just a sport, but also an essential part of the cultural and social life of this country. The Cameroon national team, known as the Indomitable Lions, is always a symbol of national pride and the desire for victory. In fact, the Cameroon team has achieved impressive accomplishments on the international stage, most notably winning the African Cup of Nations AFCON multiple times and putting on impressive performances at the World Cup. Especially, reaching the quarterfinals of the 1990 World Cup in Italy left a deep mark on the hearts of fans when the team, with stars like Roger Miller, made history. Those moments have united the nation, creating an everlasting love for the king of sports. For Cameroonians, the national team is not just a football team but also a source of pride and hope. They follow every match, cheer wholeheartedly, and always stand behind the team, no matter the result. Criticizing the national team is something very few people dare to do because it not only affects the players but also touches the pride of the entire nation. Football lovers in Cameroon often show unconditional support and strong belief in the team's abilities, regardless of any difficulties or challenges. The love for football and pride in the national team has become an indispensable part of Cameroonian life. It is a national pride, a motivation, and a great inspiration, helping them overcome challenges and difficulties in daily life. If you find this video interesting and informative, don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on the next exciting videos. Feel free to leave your comments below about your opinions or topics you'd like us to explore in future videos. Thank you all and see you in the next videos.